what if virtual reality could take you inside a painting? I'm Bridget Carey, this is your CNET Update. Most of the hype around virtual reality centers around gaming, but there are so many other possibilities for this medium that we're just beginning to explore. The Dale Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida blended virtual reality with art, and it's going to take visitors on a trip inside the mind of Salvador Dali with its latest exhibit. The experience is called Dreams of Dali, and programmers brought to life the landscape of one of his earlier paintings, the archaeological reminiscence of Milet's Angelus from 19. 1935. I put on an Oculus Rift headset to jump in and began to explore these ancient monumental ruins in a moonlit landscape. But the designers of the experience also put other pieces of Dolly's work inside the ruins so visitors may have a few unexpected surprises. But in virtual reality, it all feels very close, giving it just the right amount of creepy feeling. You start to feel like you're lost inside this warped Dali world. But how do you create something that Dali would approve? Lead designer Nathan Shipley of the firm Goodby Silverstein and Partners explains. We think that if Dali was alive today, he would love VR and he would absolutely be involved in this sort of sort of thing. But he wouldn't be trying to like worry about minuscule little details of the individual brushstrokes. We wanted to represent what was in Dali's mind. It took the team about four months to create this VR experience, which you're expected to go through for about five minutes. It's on display as part of the new exhibit called Disney and Dali, Architects of Imagination. The two artists were friends and collaborated on an animated short called Destino. Although the VR portion doesn't have the work of Disney inside of it, you can think of it as being on a thrill ride of sorts. As the museum's executive director explains, both artists worked to create experiences that were out of the ordinary, leaving you feeling just a little bit vulnerable. I think it was wonderful that they uh, were able to go beyond their worlds, go beyond the strictures of what was uh, normal at that time and create environments and media that were new. So in that spirit, we're following Disney and Dolly and creating this for our viewers. You don't have to travel to Florida to check out the VR. When the exhibit opens on January 23rd, it's going to be available online at dreamsofdolly.org. And you can see it in VR from home if you have Google Cardboard or Samsung Gear VR. That's it for this Tech News Update, but there's much more to explore in VR. In an upcoming report, I'm going to show you how businesses want you to go shopping in virtual reality. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. <laughs>